Managing clients as a freelancer is a skill you need to possess else your business starts going down the hill. I've worked with hundreds of clients in the past and I must say not being able to manage my clients brought me so much headache. In addition to that, being able to manage your clients will help you work productively and also give you space to pursue your goals. So there are five cards you need to play for the best client management which i'm going to share in this video let's jump straight into it card number one set clear expectations there was a certain time in my life i worked for a client and due to the fact that i was unable to set clear expectations i had to overwork and over deliver i even regretted taking the project in the first place because we did not come into clear terms it's in your position to tell your client we have to come into conclusion on how everything is going to go for instance how long the project will take payments deliverables and communication schedules you can discuss how the entire process is going to be as well it's totally fine to spend some time with your clients discussing about a project intensively in my case as a print designer i talk more about the printing aspect of the design that is if i'm going to handle the printing of the work we have to agree on sizes quantity and how long the printing will take we may also talk about the delivery but when it comes to that terms and conditions apply in addition to that don't forget to keep official records of everything you discuss as well card number two invest in excellent communication you will definitely agree with me that clients feel more connected and carried along in a process when you constantly keep in touch with them strong communication is one of the foundations of an effective client management process and to take advantage of that you have to speak with your clients about their communication preference and commit to contacting them in that manner do they prefer text messages chats phone calls or email also keep in mind any factor concerning their geographical location or primary language Maybe they speak a language you don't understand or live in a location with different time zone. Make every effort to accommodate them. Card number three, focus on transparency. In this case, I will simply say don't over promise and under deliver. Many freelancers make promises to their clients, but not all of them admit when things don't go as planned. When a project faces unforeseen events that might compromise its goals, inform the client right away it's better to be aware of obstacles so they can work with you to devise solutions or make adjustments to the project than not being transparent at all card number four ask and listen it's totally fine to ask questions so don't be afraid to ask the client about something you don't understand they are likely to appreciate your efforts to clarify the issues and when they respond listen actively and ask follow-up questions to ensure accurate understanding i can't count how many times asking and listening has saved me in my business as a designer it can save you as well when you do so the last card but not the least honor your own boundaries by doing this i mean you have to teach your clients how to treat you let them know your work hours and when to contact you. They should be aware that outside work, you have a life and your life does not revolve around work only. Few years ago, when I didn't understand this, I was working round the clock. Clients can call me even at midnight to get something done until I discovered I was working myself out to satisfy other people without even caring about myself. So I decided to set my boundaries, no more working during weekends, you can contact me only during work hours except if there is any emergency. These boundaries have given me time to also explore other areas of my life and I feel so good about my decision today. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe you've got another tip on how to manage your clients. Let us know in the comments. Click on the video on your screen and learn more about freelancing related tips. I will see you in the next one.